Good morning. It is currently six, I think six thirty right now. But this, I was just in bed on my phone and on my iPad. I'm not one of those people that can just like jump out of bed in the morning. I need to have like a couple minutes to kind of wake up before I actually start. But yeah, good morning. Today is my 6 a.m. morning routine. Um, I've been trying to do, trying to wake up at five for the past couple of weeks, but I noticed that six seems to be like my happy wake up time. Like I just do it naturally now, which is really nice. And on top of it too, Gavin gets up at that time for the most part. He's still in bed right now. That's why I'm talking kind of quietly. But I'm just going to get ready to go to, oh my God, the gym. Oh. But first I need to put my contacts in, wash my face, put on some aloe cream because I have a sunburn if you guys couldn't tell. Um, I'm gonna do all of that and then get ready. Okay, so now that, now that I have all my like hair done, everything like that. I need to pick out an outfit. I don't want to wear these burgundy airy shorts that I have, these ones, and my matching sports bra. Is what I was thinking. Here it is. And then this matching, basically like a bandeau sports bra with it. Right. So I'm going to get dressed. <laughs> So I'm going to fill up my water bottle and bring that. Normally, I would be whipping up. Hey guys, popping in really quick. I'm going to do this for each of the supplements that I talk to you guys about in my morning routine because that's normally when I take any supplements. So to start off with, I take pre-workout. Here is my favorite. This is the Alani New pre-workout in the mimosa flavor. So a lot of pre-workouts are different, so it's really important that... Um, if you're going to start taking them that you do your research and figure out what ingredients you want to see in your pre-workout as well as speaking with your doctor to kind of see if there is a specific ingredient that you should be avoiding um that way you don't run into any issues to start off with i have been using alani new a few years now and i absolutely love their pre-workouts i am one of those people that doesn't love the pre-workout itches i'm not looking like i love a good pump but it's not the most important thing for me. My most important thing is keeping me focused and keeping me moving and driving me into the gym. And I find that this pre-workout really helps. It does have some ingredients that do help enhance a pump, which I do appreciate, um, but it's not one of the most important things to me. So I'm gonna go through each ingredient in this. So this, the scoop size for each serving is one scoop. I only take a half a scoop because I don't love the itches that can be a side effect of most pre-workouts. So even doesn't matter what pre-workout I take, I always cut the dosage in half just because that's my personal preference. So in here, we are looking at having L-citrulline malonase. You have beta alanine, or sorry, L-tyrosone and L-thine. So I'll start at the top, L-citrulline malonate is an amino acid that's typically found in watermelons. Our bodies do actually produce it naturally as well. However, our bodies change it into L-arginine instead. Um, but basically what it does is it is used to help increase, increase the chemicals that are used or needed to build protein in your body. So there are a couple little things to think about with especially that ingredient. Um, so it's nice because a lot of these ingredients you will see our bodies actually naturally uh, make are on their own they just kind of enhance it and make it a little bit more 
um, either easier or in this case it'll help build more proteins and protein is what is used to build them muscles. Next we're looking at beta alanine. This is a very common ingredient found in a lot of pre-workouts. It's used to assist for high intensity exercises or training and it's known that if you take it progressively it will help lower fatigue while you're working out. However, beta alanine is one of those um, ingredients that does cause the pre-workout itches is what they're called. So roughly they say, sorry, I have my iPad beside me that has a little bit of notes, um, that if you take over two grams, not like over two grams, you're going to get them. Um, so the thing that's nice with the Lani New is they thought about this and they put in only 1.6 grams. So even if you were to take a full scoop size, you still won't get the itches at least as quickly. And then we're looking at the L-tyrosone. It's another amino acid that helps to produce your body to build protein. Um, it's an important production of epinephrine, neophrine, and dopamine, which are all um, hormones that help you sleep and mood enhancers. Other thing that's in it that's very common is caffeine. You will find caffeine in basically every single pre-workout that you try. Um, and roughly there is about 150 to 300 milligrams of caffeine in a pre-workout, which equals out to three, two to three cups of coffee, which is a lot. So a lot of people will choose to, again, like I do, cut it in half. So for example, in one scoop of the Alani New, that's 200 milligrams, which still isn't a lot for a pre-workout, but I cut it in half again. So rather than having 200, I only have 100 milligrams, which helps me at the end of the day not go haywire, as well as allows me to, if I want to have my cup of coffee that's actually coffee, <laughs> I can, but make sure you're reading the ingredients, especially looking at the amount of caffeine that you're induced in taking. And the last one in this is L-theanine, which helps ease stress and anxiety. And it also increases focus when it's paired with the caffeine. So that's another really popular ingredient that is found in pre-workouts because when it is paired with caffeine, it does provide you with that focus that a lot of athletes are looking for. Like I go to the gym and I need the focus. So I really appreciate having that mixed into it. Um, however, if you're looking for something with a pump, you're going to be wanting to look for things that have L-citrulline, um, arginine, and betaine. Those are the three ingredients that typically enhance that pump that a lot of people are looking for. So if you're looking for something like that, look for those three ingredients and I'm sure you'll get what you're looking for. Workout and normally I'm using the Alani New, but I actually just ran out of this yesterday. So um, I do a thing where when I run out of it, I wait a week to two weeks before I get another one just so then my body can have a little bit of a break and um, we can I can get out of the habit of needing it to work out every single day. But this is my favorite flavor so far. It's the mimosa flavor. Love it. And yeah, it's awesome. I love this flavor. Now we're ready to go. Okay, here is my outfit. I just threw on this quarter zip, and yes, I'm wearing my sunglasses. I don't know why I'm wearing them inside. I have just my sunglasses that I got from a thrift store. Sports bra, like I said, is from Aerie. Shorts, and then I'm just wearing my reef slides right now. I have my stuff in my gym bag. So, this is the fit, super cute. I love these shorts because they have like little shorts in them. So like, I don't have to worry about like flashing people. And they have a pocket right there. So I'm going to go to the gym. It's triple threat day. It's going to be a good workout. It's now 7.23. I usually end up waiting for Kevin and he usually takes his sweet time. But yes. Um, I also take a creatine or sorry, crealkaline EFX. The purple capsules i love them um they're pretty awesome i've tried the um the powder form and i got really constipated from it because um creatine in like that intense form can cause you to get constipated because creatine actually takes water from your small intestines and uses it to help build muscle so not only are you losing water in your digestive tract which is really important in bowel movements and stuff like that um, is another reason that you should also look into increasing your water intake if you do choose to take creatine. 
I've only seen awesome results since I started taking it. Obviously, I would also recommend that they talk to their doctors first because when you're putting supplements into your body, you never know how your body is going to react to them. So it's always awesome to speak with a professional regarding your body and um, what you should look for in case something does work is to go wrong um, and what things whether or not you're on medications that you can't obviously like I said before always do your research uh, creatine is awesome because what it does is it increases the stores of your phosphocreatine in your body which your body naturally produces and basically adding those stores means that you're increasing the ATP which is energy in your body um, and that in turn helps your body to build muscle quicker um, than normal because you're enhancing that but but I always recommend the capsules because a they're easier and b you know it's a little less likely for constipation and you don't have to do a loading phase while with a lot of other powder forms they require a loading phase which basically jacks up your creatine intake so normally I take two before a workout and two after a workout so four of them a day um but if you were to do a loading phase, it would be four before a workout and four after. So that turns into eight capsules. Anyway, you'd be intaking a lot of creatine. And to be honest with you, I don't think that's super healthy or good for your body to intake so much at one time. So I always recommend that when you are doing creatine or anything like that, that you don't worry about that loading phase because that loading phase is a lot to put through your body through at a time. So okay, so... This is what they look like. They're just little uh, purple capsules. I prefer these ones over the powder form. It's just easier. They are massive pills. Massive! But it is what it is. But I don't like to take them in the gym because people look at me funny. I'm going to go do a workout and enjoy it. And then we can get back to the apartment for breakfast. Oh, we're still here, flipping coins about what's to come. Well, now I'm going to I'm gonna make up some greens. Hold on, I have to... okay. So I'm gonna have some greens. So one scoop of greens, and then I also have a little bit of this uh sparkling water as well just because i don't love the grainy texture that comes with green and it also kind of masks the flavor of them as well the greens and i just keep them in this in this like little jar so i split them between here and then at home and then i also use this Go about halfway this, and then I add just some normal water with it as well. I will use my handheld milk frother to kind of just like mix it up. I have these at least once a day. Like that's kind of my hope is to have them once a day, but that doesn't always happen. Sometimes I get busy and I don't know that I don't get all of my vitamins that I need so having this will help make sure that I do get all of my vitamins it works it does its job I just kind of chug her back while I'm making breakfast and then I get to have my coffee which is what i really care about at the end of the day but greens are really awesome because they have a whole lot of antioxidants and they also have a lot of vegetables and vitamins that a lot of people don't necessarily get in their daily um in their daily diet so it's good to take them i find i have more energy when i take them um i find that throughout the day like i hit noon and like my body is exhausted and i don't want to do anything i find that the greens will help me kind of keep my energy up and boosted Sometimes if I have, if I'm having one uh, greens later on in the day, I will have one of these, which is just an Arbonne Energy Fizz. I really like to put them in there because they're like another little boost of energy without having the caffeine that you normally would see in like an energy drink. 
So I really like that. Or sometimes I'll do the Neo Mango Peach Spritz Squeezer thingy. And I like to do that too. But today I'm just trying to get these back as fast as possible. Also, while I'm making my breakfast, I like to pick up some strawberries. Cut up some strawberries. Um, either to have with my breakfast or I will have them but making it. So today I'm just gonna cut some up and if I eat them all before my breakfast, then I do. But I really like to have some strawberries just as a little source of fruit in the morning. So I'm started, I've started breakfast. I've got sausages going here. I have my delicious oat caramel latte right there. And then I also have two um, halves of a bagel going there and obviously the delicious strawberries that I've been munching on as well. But I'm going to eat this up, whip it up, and then I will see you guys when I go to shower. Okay, so now that I've done my breakfast and all that, I just typically will come into the kitchen here and I will do my best to kind of put the, any dishes that have been done away um, and just kind of like clean it up a bit so then everybody can have kind of a clean space to either work in, cook in, that kind of thing. So I'm going to have a quick body shower. I'm going to show you kind of what I use. I know I will wash. I did, I had a body shower last night as well, but I want to show you the products that I'm going to be using when I'm just like, when I'm washing my hair, I won't show you, I'm not shaving or anything. Today, I'm gonna wash my hair to this morning because I have all my shampoo, conditioner, stuff like that here at the apartment. I don't have anything like that at home. So I use the Kristen S, the, sign the one signature shampoo and conditioner. I really, really, really love these. I've been using them for about three months now and I've been really, really loving them. They're great, they smell amazing, and considering um, I was able to get them at Shoppers is really awesome because it's like salon quality, but um, at a drugstore price, which I really appreciate because. Um, and then I'm also gonna be using the Aveeno Stress Relief Body Wash. I really like this one, and I find that the lavender does really help with my stress as well as my anxiety. Um, so I use that and then I will also be using um, this Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Leave-In Treatment. I put this in my hair after I washed it. I will comb it out and I find that it works really, really well to kind of keep my hair looking um, clean and moisturized. I will see you guys when I get out to do an OOTD as well as throw some makeup on. Okay guys, so I've showered, gotten dressed. I have to pop on some makeup because I have to do some filming actually for this video. So I'm just popping on some primer on my really bad pory area. I just use the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, this one. So far it's been good, I like it. I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna pop on my Pixi H2O Face Tint. I've been using this since last summer and I absolutely love it. Dab it all over my face. And then I'm also using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Rose. Doesn't matter what time of year it is, I am always the absolute lightest shade possible. And with my beauty blender, I just blend it out. I just use the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. And then to stick them down, I just use the Great Lash by Maybelline, the clear. Then for bronzer, I'm using the Hoola Benefit bronzer. 
And then I'm going to use this Essence, the blush and be love. Um, mascara. I'm going to get, use the um, Marcel Ultimate Lash Pro Lash Growth as well as my Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer by L'Oreal. These two products are the best. I absolutely love them. I will never use another primer again. And if you aren't using an eyelash primer before your mascara, you should be because it turns a normal mascara into a waterproof one without the difficulty getting it off. Like I don't use um, waterproof mascara ever, but it, that stuff makes sure that my mascara doesn't flake. So that is literally it for my makeup. That's it. I'm not going crazy, keeping it pretty chill, low key. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm sorry if the quality got kind of crappy. I had to switch over onto my iPad because my phone storage is all filled up. But this is my outfit. I'm just wearing these lilac biker shorts from Aritzia. They're the cheeky collection, I think. Then I'm just wearing this oversized white crew neck from Airy. And then I just left my sports bra on nice and comfortable. But yeah, that is my outfit for the day. Um, I'm probably going to go and record some clips for today's video as well as drive home. So I think this is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe learned a thing or two. But that is my 6 a.m. morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe if you did like it because i noticed a lot of you are not subscribed so subscribe please and thank you support your girl and leave a like down below as well as a comment of what you guys want to see next i love you guys so 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 much and i will see you next week